What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for some more content for you guys. And we have an official announcement. Ivan Perisic is now officially a Tottenham Hotspur player, as you can see on your screen right now, him signing the contract. Um, as of quarter to four, as time of recording, it's just been announced five minutes ago. So a lot of happy Spurs fans around. Twitter is going absolutely mental. And yeah, let's get our thoughts on it. Uh, but before we do that, let's go and have a look at the announcements uh, all over social media and the videos that have been doing the rounds. So here's the first video. Uh, this is what Tottenham um, announced with. Very slick. Not quite the announcement of Regulon and Bale. Not but. quite. It didn't, it didn't have the uh, yeah. It didn't have the dra dra dramatics of that, but. Lovely stuff. Announced to the World Cup finalist. Joining, he actually scored in that World Cup final as well. There he is. Yeah, Ivan he, he, he scored the goal to knock England out, didn't he? The semis. He scored the equaliser. Yeah. He scored the equaliser to take it extra time. Um, Let me uh, just read out the announcement on the website and then we can go into our thoughts. Um, it says, We are delighted to announce the transfer of Ivan Perisic. The vastly experienced Croatia international will join the club on the 1st of July following the expiration of his contract at Inter Milan. And he has agreed a deal that will run up until 2024. A player with multiple winners medals under his belt, Ivan began his career in the youth academies of Hajduk Split uh, before a short spell at a team which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce from Belgium. Um, in 2009, he joined Club Bruges, where in his only in only his second season he was the league's top goalscorer and named Belgium's Footballer of the Year. A move to Germany followed in 2011 with. Perisic winning the Bundesliga and German Cup in his first season at Borussia Dortmund before adding his second German Cup and Super Cup following the move to Wolfsburg in 2013. Two and a half years later, he signed for Inter Milan, starting games and scoring regularly for the Italian club until he joined, returned to Germany with a season-long loan to Bayern Munich in 2019-20 season, where he became a UEFA Champions League winner, as well as lifting the Bundesliga and another German Cup of his career path um, Bayern's treble winning side he was a part of. He returned to Inter ahead of the following season where he played under Antonio Conte showing his versatility by performing as a wing back as well as a forward for Inter Milan as they won the Serie A title. He continued his fine form into 2021-22 season registering 10 goals and 9 assists in all competitions on the way to winning the Coppa Italia and Super Coppa Italiana. He also scooped Serie A's Goal of the Month award for his strike against Bologna in April with Inter finishing as runners-up in the final domestic standings. At international, level, Eva, at international level, Ivan has made 113 appearances for his country to date, scoring 32 goals and ever present for his national team. He played a key role in Croatia's route to the World Cup final in Russia 2018, the first in his country's history. He scored in the final, but his side finished runners-up to Hugo Lloris's France. So that is the statement that has been put out on the Spurs website. And Sim, how happy are you uh, seeing this over the line now? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, I think it's a player with vast experience. I think he's got um, a proper winner's mentality. I think he's, I think he's a player who turns up in big, big moments for for his uh, for his team. I think he's a, I think he's a player that um, I think he he has supreme quality from wide areas as well, crossing ability, dribbling ability, uh, shooting ability. Um, and I think I'm very excited. I think he upgrades our team massively from wingback situation. And I'm very, very excited for what he can bring. The facts of the matter, um, in terms of current form, in terms of abilities, you've got to say he's one of the best um, wingbacks in European football at the moment. And I think he proved that last year for Inter Milan. Um, the accolades he has are absolutely second to none with kind of what he's won out in Germany, uh, what he's won in Italy. He's won titles everywhere he's gone. He's got a Champions League medal behind him as well. Obviously, that uh, run to the World Cup final in 2018 that we spoke about before, uh, scoring in the semi-final and the final. Uh, so he really is a big game player. And Antonio Conte obviously loves him, managed him before. 
wanted him back. Uh, we're hearing that Antonio Conte uh, was desperate to get him through the door at Tottenham Hotspur. Um, do you have reservations about his age or does that not bother you too much? Uh, no, I don't. I think his age isn't a factor. I think obviously it would be great if he was a, a few years younger. But um, I think that he, his age brings experience in, in, in an in a area of the pitch. We have a lot of youth and we need maybe uh, players that we can look up that he, he will look up to him. And uh, obviously he's, um, it's not great that he's 33, but he's a player who's kept really good care of himself. Uh, he's playing his best football of his career right now. He created more chances last season in Serie A from wing back than any other uh, uh, player uh, in, in Europe, in fact, uh, from, from full back. So I think he's playing exceptionally well. So I'm very, very excited um, to see what he can do. Yeah, and he joins the list of obviously Croatians that have played for Tottenham in the past. You've got the likes of Luka Modric. Everyone knows what he went on to do. Um, I think he just won his fifth Champions League medal or something, uh, Luka Modric. Nico Kranchar also was a fan favourite at the time. Uh, Stipe Pletikosa, uh, not too much to say about him. And Vedran Chorluka as well, um, who linked up really well with Aaron Lennon on that right-hand side uh, for us. But I think uh, Ivan Perisic... Um, is going to be a top, top player for us. And I can't wait uh, to see him get going at uh, the lane, obviously. Uh, he does come with an injury, though. Apparently, he's uh, got a calf problem. Uh, but hopefully, he should be fine to go on uh, the preseason tours and stuff like that. Yeah, um, they're saying that he's definitely going to be uh, fully fit. Uh, for Sorry, he's going to be fit for the preseason. I think that... Um, I think he's gonna ha he's has, has a problem right now, which is a bit of an issue. But they're saying for preseason, um, it, it's not going to be a problem. Um, either he's going to be fully fit, or he's going to be just coming into full fitness come the preseason. So nothing to be worried about. This is a guy who takes extreme care of himself at, at, at his age. He's in the, he's in the best condition he's ever been in. So I think it's very very exciting uh, about what he can bring to Tottenham and. Um, I think that it takes our wing backs to a new level. Uh, I really believe that. And he finally will finally have a wing back who's going to be a proper goal threat um, mm. from, from the sides. Someone who left foot, right foot as well. He's really good going on the outside, crossing the ball in. He's really good as well, cutting inside and shooting, creating chances there. Very versatile as well. Um, I think it's a really exciting move. And um, honestly, right now, you could argue he's one of the best wing backs in uh, Europe right now. Yeah. You yeah. could argue in form wise. And also, you know, when. Uh, um, leading into Milan to the title, he got ten goals and assists in the last. Sorry, he got nine goal, goals and assists in his last ten games of that season to take them to the title. In big moments like the cup final, he scored two goals. Uh, World Cup, he's been um, doing great. So, like, what uh, what experience he has, and I'm looking forward to and what you he know. Can bring. What that that kind of tells you a lot that um, he got stronger as the season progressed in both of those last two years at Inter Milan. Uh, when you're looking at his age, 33, you would think that maybe you would slow down towards the end of the season, a, l a long and grueling season. But actually, he's got better as the season has progressed. And I think that says a lot to me about how much he does look after himself and what kind of stamina he does have and what he actually can provide in the Premier League in terms of physicality and output. And that, actually, that um, is quite impressive to me. Yeah, for sure. And um, I think that... Um people worried maybe that he's getting on a bit and his age is counting against him uh he's one of the fittest players in the uh, in, in in terms of fitness stamina wise in europe like he can run all day all night and um he's proven that over a long period of time uh in europe in european football and he's yeah as you say he's one of those players a bit like um like dina tale and zlatan ibrahimovic and these players like in the sense that they get, he's getting better with age. Iron Robin aging like a fine wine. Yeah, he's he's not a player that has been um, who who seems to be slowing down. He seems to be speeding up as he's getting older. So that's another reason to get very very excited about his potential transfer to Tottenham. His his transfer to Tottenham, uh, and it also represents a, a move in a separate direction as a club yeah. in terms of buying players who are ready now the key point to, for me. to be um, helping Tottenham win things yeah. and. Um, that is also a very crucial element to this. Um, you know, we're back. This is fully a full example of Tottenham backing Conte and um, getting exactly what um, Conte wants. So extremely exciting. And if you cast your mind back to a year ago um, when we had Nuno and we started making signings with him and, and Paratici, we didn't really have a clear vision of where we wanted to go as a club. We didn't know what kind of profile of player we wanted to get through the door and we bought 
different kinds of players, Brian Hill, uh, Gallini, Romero, um, Emerson Royale, and didn't really have a clear vision of what we wanted. Now Conte has come in and he started working with Paratici. This is his third signing now. And all those signings have been in the mold of Antonio Conte. When you look at Bentancourt, young age, but heavy experience. When you look at Kulusevski, young age, but heavy experience. And now you're bringing in Perisic. That's actually not such a young age, but also heavy experience. So we're bringing in experienced players with know-how that can push us over the line. And you saw with those two signings that we made in January, they really did help us push us over the line with Bentancourt and Kulusevski. And I think um, uh, Perisic will just add to that now. Yeah, and it's about having a balance, isn't it? We've got a lot of young players in the squad, um, and but we also need players who can turn up in the big moments, and he's mm. one of them. And he's one that Conte knows very well from his sign at Inter Milan. He's a player he knows he can trust uh, to play the wing-back role to a very high standard. And I'm just really excited uh, that we finally got a, an upgrade in that position. And I think, honestly... You can't underestimate how good he has been over mm. the over the past couple of years uh, in Serie A and at international level. So it's one to be very very excited about. People will, will say, you know, oh, he's an Tottenham are turning into a time at home. He's just another Willian or something like that. But it's completely false narrative. He's on top of his game right now. He's playing in in the wing back role. There's none better right now than Ivan Perisic. So uh, look, strap in, get ready for some big performances because I'm looking forward to it. All right, big up to all you lot out there. I want to see all your love for Ivan Perisic in the comments section below. Don Paratici is working his magic alongside Antonio Conte. Signings are coming and the window hasn't even opened yet. So happy days. I'm very happy with the uh, uh, Perisic signing. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Perisic has signed up until 2024 with apparent uh, extension with a year um, after that. So we'll see how that works out. I'm excited to see him in a Spurs shirt. Thank you everyone for watching today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. Spurs.